Hey guys, it's Ben, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do animation in Photoshop CC. Uh, this is just going to be a basic guide, you know, nothing too serious. Um, so, Photoshop is opened. What we're going to do is Command N. That'll obviously create a new document. If you didn't know that, there you go. I'm just going to set it as HD. You can do whatever you want. Um, yeah, that's all fine. All right, perfect. So. What we want is we want a picture of an iPhone right here to move this way. Correct. Yes. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to open up Google Chrome here pretty fast. iPhone. Perfect. Um, images. Let's just find any good old iPhone. Perfect. Let's go here. Command V. Perfect. That makes you right here. So what you want to do. Say you want it to move from left to right. Um, first step is to go into your Windows tab at the top if you have a Mac. If you have a PC, I'm not sure, but um, it should be at the top too. Window Timeline. This will create this right here at the bottom of your screen, or it might appear attached, but mine appears as a separate window. Create new video timeline, press that button, and here you go. You have your layer, and it's sort of like in a, I don't know, like if you're video editing, I don't know if you've ever used Final Cut Pro, this is what it looks like. So, what you want to do is press this little button that says layer down. Here is going to be position, opacity, and style. These are all where you can add keyframes. And if you didn't know, keyframes is basically the frames of your video. I want my object here in one frame, and in the other frame it's going to be next to Photoshop. It's in a nice um, motion between them. It's just perfect. So what we want to do, your iPhone's wanting to start here. Go over here and press this little timer button. That will add a keyframe. Go over to the end. Move your iPhone to wherever the end destination is. Boom. It already creates keyframe for you and as you can see we have a nice motion okay that is perfect that is the basics um, you can also do the same thing with opacity if I wanted to get lighter or darker I can have it at full opacity right now and at the end we can do opacity we can f have it fade out so that's what fading out is Change the opacity. So here we go. It will go away. Okay. The next thing is style, which is just editing like um, things here with effects. Um, so yeah. If you want to fancy this up a little bit, let's just click a layer. We can just add like a filter. Um, a motion blur would be pretty good since this object is moving. Um, so there you go. There's a motion blur. Let's just add that. That's perfect. Um, so as you can see, when this moves, it fades out. It's like the actual object is in motion. So this is how you can go frame by frame. I just go back to here. Um, so that's pretty much it. You can do the same with text. Um, you can do the same with text if I want to do this. If this wants to be some outro that I'm making. And if you aren't experienced with, um, with Flash, this will be perfect for you. So here I have an outro. Let me just shorten this down to, like, my video. We can, um, transform it in style, opacity, everything. Uh, so thank you guys for watching, just like it says up here. And I'll see you guys later.